Hey guys, this is Varun Anamdar and welcome to Get Curried. Today, let's make a spicy, fiery and tangy specialty from Kundapur, which is close to Mangalore. You guessed it right, ghee roast. And in this case, prawn ghee roast. To begin the prawn ghee roast, the first step of course is marinating the prawns. I have nicely cleaned them, I have shelled them, I have removed the vein. Also I have given it a little gash so that the marination kind of seeps within. The first thing is to marinate this with some yogurt. Very little, not too much. With this, let's add in some turmeric followed by some red chilli powder. We are going to use a lot of red chillies later. So let's go mild on this now. And finally, some salt. We'll be adjusting the salt later, but to begin with, this is perfect. Also, I'll add in lemon juice. Let's give this a quick mix. Allow the prawns to marinate for a minimum of 15-20 minutes. Well, if you have some time at hand, you can marinate it longer. While the prawns are getting marinated, I'm heating a tawa and I'm adding in dried red chilies to kind of roast it a little. Since it's a ghee roast, I want that nice roasted flavor and this is the step where a lot of houses make it differently. Some prefer soaking it in hot water and kind of running it into a fine smooth paste. I like it personally roasting the chilies lightly so that it adds it to the roasted flavor of the ghee roast. While the chilies are almost 80% roasted, we need to lower the flame and we'll start adding spices one after another. The first one is dhania seeds or coriander seeds followed by cumin seeds, mustard seeds, do not overdo the mustard because we do not want the masala to have a bitter tinge. This is followed by black peppercorns and finally methi seeds. Again, I'm not using too much of methi because we do not want it extremely bitter. We just need the nice flavor and aroma of all these spices. We kind of moderately increase the heat and roast this till they're nice and fragrant. Once the aroma of the roasted spices kind of fills up the kitchen, we need to turn the flame off and allow this to cool down completely. It's been roughly around 10 minutes and the spices have relatively become cooler. Let's grind this into a powder to begin with. This has converted into a nice and coarse powder. I can actually smell the pungency at this point in time. Time to add in cloves of garlic. I like lots of garlic in this. And this is followed by tamarind which has been soaked in warm water. Let's add in a few tablespoons of water and let's grind this into a fine and smooth paste. Let's have a quick check. Well, the masala is nicely ground and this is exactly how we want it. Well, in most hotel kitchens or restaurants, this is known as the Kundapuri spice mix and is always ready if there is any kind of a ghee roast on the menu. Well, on that note, let's heat a pan and add in two large tablespoons of ghee. Well, do not shy away from this because this is one of the main flavors of this dish. Let's heat this on moderate flame. Once the ghee melts and kind of heats a little, I'll add in the marinated prawns. Scrape in all the marinade. On a high flame, we need to kind of roast the prawn. It's actually a stir-frying technique, but over the years, it's popularly known as roasting in India. So let's begin that. We need to constantly keep stirring and scraping because you do not want the marinade to stick at the base. Also, you will notice that at this stage, the prawns will release some water. But do not worry because that's exactly how we want it. Once the prawns start partially cooking, we'll add in the masala that is ground earlier. Let's give this a stir and allow the prawns and the masala to cook this time on high flame, constantly stirring. After a few minutes of roasting or stir frying, as you wish, our ghee roast is almost ready. The prawns are nicely cooked. They're nicely kind of roasted. They've got a nice brown color. Time to add in some fresh curry leaves and give it one final mix. Well, with this, the ghee roast is ready. Let's transfer this on the serving plate. And trust me, this goes amazingly well with some appams.
So here you have this simple and easy recipe of a prawn ghee roast. So stop harassing your Mangalorean friends and treat them to this on the hindsight. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curry.